Hey guys, so today's video is how I do my makeup. You guys have been requesting it, so I thought I'll just do it anyway, and this is sort of the completed look. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So, for some coverage, I'm going to be using this BB cream, and this is by Witch Naturally Clear, so it's anti blemish. So, I'm just going to apply some to the back of my hand, like so. Then what I'm going to do is take this spongy thing here and this is really good for like blending it in and I don't really like using brushes so yeah I'm just going to go and apply this all over my face. This has quite a light coverage but to be honest I don't like to cape my face up in makeup so I kind of prefer it being a lighter coverage and I don't really use a concealer so I just put this under my eyes so now what I'm going to do is apply some powder I actually made my own powder it's just in an oil container from a previous powder that I bought so I will leave like the ingredients down below as to how I made my own powder eyebrows I'm going to be using the MUA Pro Brow Kit and this has only like two colours that I use so I use this to fill in my eyebrows and then this as like a highlighter underneath and I just do like gentle little strokes throughout my eyebrow. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the highlighter underneath my eyebrow and then just blend that in with my finger there we go now I'm going to be doing some eyeliner and I use the Barry M Coal Pencil and it's the colour black so I do prefer to use pencil eyeliner because I feel like it's easier to apply oh no I broke it so as you can see it's now nice and sharp and I'm just going to apply this. I'm not very good at explaining things, sorry about that. I like to use a cotton pad though because I find when I put my hands down my face it smudges like what I've already done so I don't know, it just seems to work. So I just do like a line here as you can see and then, and then bring it around to the top. I'm just going to keep working with this until I get it to the shape that I like. Eyeliner is done now as you can see and I'd say that went quite well but for any mistakes I take some micellar water then I also take one of these don't know what you call them and then I just apply some of the micellar water if there's any mistakes I will just sort of dab it away that is the eyeliner done and it does turn out differently every day to be honest it depends how I end up doing it but that's how it turned out today now for mascara so I have this Lash Vegas and this is also by Barium they do a lot of vegan cosmetics that are not tested on animals so I like to buy from Barium now I am very bad at applying mascara I just sort of blink into it and also do that. I find it works quite well when I just sort of do the tips because it stops it clumping quite so much.
Most of the time I will just leave it here because I kind of prefer the eye makeup to having a lot on my face um, and I'll also go and apply some lip balm, this is just from the body shop and it smells so good, it is mango, oh we've got a bit too much there. So I'd say this is more like an everyday sort of look but if I am going out anywhere or I just feel like wearing a bit more I will also apply some bronzer and maybe a bit of blush. So I then take this like Barry M um, bronzer and yeah I don't often apply this but if I'm like going out as I say or something then I will use that. So when applying bronzer what I do is sort of like a three shape so I'll do up here on my forehead and then bring it down here and then just go into there just where the light would naturally hit your face anyway and sometimes I add a bit right here um, so I'm just going to demonstrate I know this isn't really like a proper bronzer brush I use it for powder but I also use it for bronzer because it just works There we go and I sometimes add a little bit just on my nose. Then I sometimes add like a tiny little bit of blush. This is again by the brand MUA. I tend to just stick to certain brands. I have used this brush for everything else but it's the only thing that seems to work for me. So again I'll just take like a tiny little bit of blush. It's just like a tiny bit of colour. You can barely even notice it. And that's pretty much like the most I would do. I don't ever really apply more than that. I'm not a big fan of lipstick. I don't think it suits me anyway, so yeah. And to be honest, most days I'll go for the natural look. I wouldn't even add like the bronzer or blush anyway. I just thought I would mention that I use jojoba oil to remove my makeup. I just take a few drops of this and then rub it between my hands and then just gently massage it into my skin and that just sort of dissolves the makeup but then to fully remove it I just take a few cotton pads and just wipe it all off so I know it's all gone and that is pretty much all I do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!